What does my child have to do during a pulmonary function test? Patient details such as name, age, height, weight, and sex are entered into the testing application software in order to calculate predicted test values for each patient. Uh, then a series of tests will be conducted. Uh, we'd like to demonstrate that for you. So uh, the first test we're gonna perform is a forced vital capacity or a flow volume loop. And measurements from this test, the full flow velocity and volume, amount of air being expelled. Narrowing of any location in the airways can be, te be detected by this test. Um, we're gonna demo with Danielle now. Again, when children come into the laboratory, sometimes they're intimidated by everything they see. So we try to make it more welcoming for them and also take our time and, and coach them in exactly what, what we want them to do. Um, the younger children, I'll say things like, if you can blow out your birthday candles at your birthday party, you can do this test. That usually puts them at, at ease. And then we just kind of go over everything slowly with them in the beginning so that they're not too intimidated or frightened by what they see here in the laboratory. Um, so at this point, what I'm gonna do is put a filter on and a mouthpiece, and then Danielle's gonna perform a test for us today. So this is the body box, and then we have this manifold that's gonna slide out so that we can adjust it to the patient's height. And if uh, we have somebody that's like 6'4 or something, we usually have them have a seat in the box and just do it in there. So I'm gonna place the filter onto the manifold and attach the mouthpiece to the manifold. Take that away, I'm gonna straighten that out. And then we're gonna ask Danielle to step over here and then we're gonna adjust it to her height. Those clips out of here. And usually what I tell the younger children, the older children, not a problem, the younger children that these are two marshmallows on the end of this and they don't really hurt your nose. So usually I usually put it on for them. Some smaller children, what we have to do is actually hold this on or actually get them to hold their nose together and do it because they can't tolerate or the nose clips just keep falling off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do at this point is walk over here. How you doing, Deb? You okay with me? I shouldn't have said that. And can you edit that out? Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do is just check. We have all the information about Danielle in here. So at this point, we're gonna run the test. So we're gonna load the spreadsheet, check the environmentals, and I'm gonna to demonstrate to Danielle exactly, tell her exactly what I want, want her to do. So I have a demonstration mouthpiece and I'm just gonna have her say, this is what I'd like you to do. Uh, teeth and gums against this wall, lip over the flap, start off on the side, just slide it in your mouth. Okay. Right. Clips are on. I'm gonna have her you take a couple of easy breaths and then I'll say to you, take a deep breath in. So big, full inspiration, <sighs> big chest, just like at your birthday party. Blow out one breath as fast, as hard, and as long as you can, okay? The other thing is, any uh, in any pulmonary functional lab you go to, the technician or the birth therapist who's running the test will make sure that the patient gives them some verbal encouragement uh, as they go along during this test. Okay, we're just gonna wait for that to zero out, Danielle. Okay, we're ready, so now you can place your mouth on the mouthpiece. Good, she's in a nice athletic stance. Just breathe easy. You can see the tidal breathing here. You can swing over there if you want. Okay, big breath in, Danielle. Fill it up. Hit it hard. That's it. Nice. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Big breath in at the end. Excellent job. Okay, so we did a really nice job on this one. We have some uh, confidence prompts that we use here. We're just going to get those out of the way. And this is the test that we were looking for. That's pretty much it. Uh, so... Generally speaking, this usually, we, we like to do is have the patient blow out for at least six seconds. Dan was a little short on that one, but that's okay. She emptied out fast. So what we do is try the test again, and some incentives that we have, especially for children, uh, that we can bring up, and this really works well with a lot of them, uh, the younger crowd. We have a birthday cake with candles, so we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna coach her through. She did everything pretty well, but we'd also fine tune the patient technique at this point in time. So we're gonna make this cake nice and big. And then we'll do the same thing, Danielle. Just take your time. Good, just breathe easy. A Couple of breaths, and then when you're ready, just take a big one in, hit it hard, push hard. Good, go, 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 go. Nice job, stay with it, keep going, keep going. Deep breath in at the end. So Danielle managed to uh, get 100% of her vital capacity and it worked out. So she gets some fireworks and doesn't get the cake in the face. <laughs> Okay, so we'll end that one. 
Okay, so you should do a little bit better on that one with your vital capacity. And what we're also going to do is make sure that she's not dizzy. How do you feel? Are you okay? Are you ready to do another one? So you we're going to do three at least. Uh, with most children, it can go three to eight. Usually, I like to let them rest between each one so they don't feel lightheaded. Uh, so what we'll do is let's go on to the next visual here that we can kind of change on the fly. All right, then. So, so now you're the dragon, and you're going to burn that castle down. Just, just breathe easy. Whenever you're ready. Big breath in. Fill it up all the way. Hit it hard. Push hard. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Squeeze it out. Good job. Stay with it. Then a big breath in when you're empty. Nice job. Very good. Okay. So Danielle did pretty well with that. So we can let her take a rest. Get Take a little rest. And so she gets some fireworks for that. So it keeps getting better with each one. Um, so... The only thing, just almost made six seconds on that one. Sometimes people with normal lungs will empty out a little bit quicker. So what we do is maybe continue to do a few more here. Um, so that, that covers the forced vital capacity test.